Could the AlphaWise window cleaning robot be the answer to your prayers? Cleaning large windows, difficult to reach windows, tiles, and even floors. Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to OzK Reviews. Today we're reviewing the AlphaWise robot window cleaner on floors, windows, and tiles. So what do we get in the box? We get the robot itself with two washable cleaning pads. On top of the robot, if you note, there is a connector here for the electric supply. And notice that twists around, which is required for this device. It has two LED indicators, indicating that the backup battery is charged. It also has a remote control, and you can also use a smartphone app. You've got two meters of electric power supply and a good old 1980s power block to go with it. Importantly, there are 12 washable window pads. Finally, in the land of health and safety, you get a three and a half meter lanyard or bit of string uh, to attach to the robot and then to something solid in case the robot loses suction. To get started, spray the, the pads with window cleaner Press it on the window, press the button and wait a few seconds until it has gripped the window. Then press the remote control and away it goes. Once it gets started, it covers all the area of the window very effectively. What I did find was this is great at polishing windows, but if you have any stubborn stains, it doesn't seem to remove them particularly well. And next we move on to our floor test. Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to two of our helpers for the floor test. First of all, Chairman Nero, who's been working hard to make the floor dirty, and S Sam, the CEO, head of Mess, who's also been working hard to make that floor dirty. Now onto our floor test. Unlike other window robots, this has the ability to clean the floors. And if you had high expectations about this, prepare to curb your enthusiasm right now. As you'll see from this video, which I've speeded up, the problem was it didn't track the floor very, very well. It did pick up quite a lot of dirt, but the pads have got to be changed quite often. So to cut a long story short, I had to do this area about three times. Each time took about five minutes. So it, it was a total of 15 minutes, and it was not a set and, and forget process. So you may as well have just cleaned it with a normal mop. The good news is, although it appeared to be drunk, it did pick up quite a bit of dirt. Our next test is on tiles and shower screens. Here it worked much more effectively. Unlike the floor test, the robot manages to cover most of the tile area pretty effectively. One word of advice, your robot can go missing, and mine did. I came into the bathroom about five minutes later to find this robot had sneaked across to the other side of the bathroom near the mirror. Had a look around everywhere, couldn't find it for a couple of minutes, so you can hear it pretty clearly. That's where it got to. Just quickly looking at shower screens, in the instructions it says you're not supposed to do frameless windows, such as a shower screen. So if you see here, by the time it was getting to the top, it was struggling a little bit to get the suction and it started to make a hell of a noise uh, when it reached that top there. It didn't quite do it. But it did work perfectly okay and it tracked down there afterwards. Just covering off the prices, these do vary quite a bit. About £170 in the UK, Australia $210, the US $130, and in Europe about €190. Euros. So in conclusion, is the AlphaWise robot vacuum cleaner worth getting? It really depends. If you've got large expansive windows, then this could be one of the best things since sliced bread. But if you've got small windows, then this is going to be about as good as a chocolate fire guard. This is not a set and forget product, unlike a robot vacuum cleaner. 
Think of this product as polishing your windows rather than giving them a really good clean. And if you've got seriously dusty windows, you're gonna to have to be changing the pads every few minutes, which is a real pain as they're quite tricky to do. Other issues I faced with it is if the electric cable isn't quite long enough, you've then got to run an extension cable, which can be annoying. It was quite noisy, and if the pads aren't completely clean, you can get uh, rings of dirt around the windows as well. But it does a great job of polishing, and it's a great bit of technology as far as it goes. Whether it's worth you buying is up, is up to you. Leave a comment if you've used the product or want to comment on the review. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got more coming up in the way of household tech.